Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel for what is going to be a dupe or dud featuring a really hot product. So hot, in fact, that I only recently got mine in part because I was putting off getting it, but also because it's never in stock. Like I have to stock, it's the Morphe 350 palette in case you couldn't see it coming um, or know by the title that it's the Morphe 350 palette. I stock Morphe on all social media because that's, that tends to be where they announce when this guy is back in stock. So caught him on a good day, happened to snag it, and now it is in my hot little hands and have been wanting to talk about it ever since I got it. I'm wearing this, by the way, on my eyes right now. Um, all, all primarily warm shades, naturally, on my eyes. And then I actually went to top it off with some glitter because I've just been loving glitter lately. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art um, in burnished bling and I'm just wearing the glitter, not the other metallic cream shadow side. Just the glitter, love it. But that's neither here nor there. So even before I got this, I, it took me so long to get it because I thought, is it really worth it? I hadn't tried Morphe shadows at the time and then I bought the all matte, the 35N palette, which is a matte neutral palette off of Hope Look. It ended up being in my top matte eyeshadow video, which I will link down below. But that's kind of when I convinced myself to buy this guy or at least be on the lookout for when it would become available because I had a good idea of the kind of shadow quality I could expect for the price. But even before getting it, I just kept thinking it, there has to be another similar palette out there like there is just no way this particular particular assembly of neutrals granted this is both warm and cool no way that a neutral palette could be so stinking unique despite the fact that it is crazy beautiful so once I got it I not only used it loved it but also started hunting through my collection to see where I could find some similarities and surprisingly or not surprisingly because they are very very visually similar I found them in the Kat Von D Monarch and Shade and Light eye palette so that is what this long story short longest intro ever right that is where this duper dud is going I want to compare the Morphe 350 palette to these two um, neutral but also warm leaning palettes. And initially, I was just thinking that the Shade and Light eye palette would be the best dupe. As it turns out, not every shade is present in the 350 palette, primarily the lighter shades. Like, there are so many between this cream, these two kind of, well, creams, and then this kind of warmer cream over here. There just isn't this variety of creams in the 350 palette. Let me hold it up for you to reference. As you can see here, there are quite a few, but this is really, there's these two. And then the rest are either shimmery or pink leaning. Like there's this beautiful duochrome. You really can't, the, seeing it here doesn't do it justice. And I didn't realize it before actually getting it in my hands. This is actually like a cream, but then has this beautiful pink iridescent shift to it. There's just such, I need to sneeze. Oh no, done the makeup, save the makeup. Um, that's a good way to stifle your sneeze, I suppose. Never threat the makeup. But really, those are the only light neutrals to speak of. There are, however, a wide variety of mid and deeper tone neutrals here that I did find to be very, very similar to a lot of those in the Shade and Light Eye Palette, primarily the shades that everybody else kind of goes crazy for, like this camel here, there's something really close in the Morphe 350, this beautiful deep uh, brown with like some pretty pronounced bricky red overtones in it. And then the two chocolatey browns here, like all of those have very, very similar shadows that can be duped in the Morphe 350 palette. Is the entire palette dupable from the 350? No, definitely not. Um, Cause it also doesn't have a matte black. That is one thing that I do wish the 350 palette had is a matte black. Uh, unfortunately, the deepest it gets is a super deep chocolatey brown. Probably one of these down here is what does the job and it even looks black on camera. But as you can see, I'm wearing the deepest chocolatiest one on the outer corner and it's still just, it's not as intense as you know, an all black matte would be. So those are the similar shadows from the Shade and Light Eye palette but then as I was going through my collection more just to see if I you know leaving no stone unturned I came across another Kat Von D palette the Monarch palette and I remembered why I fell in love with this first of all because it has such beautiful metallics and neutrals but also this shockingly orange warm tone here and I actually unfortunately I, I it's kind of wiped off but there isn't an orange in the 350 that exactly matches this however if you combine some shades in this orange column over here you can get something very very similar and I think that is the case for so many of the shadows in both of these Kat Von D palettes is if it's not an exact dupe you can mix and match because there are so many 35 
in fact, to be exact in this palette. Um, there's so many shades and such a mix of warm and neutral that if you can't find the exact shadow in one of the Kat Von D's, chances are you can mix a couple in here to get a very close dupe. That being said, the shadow quality is not the same. I'm not gonna lie, the Morphe are a little bit powdery, they're a little bit drier, whereas Kat Von D's are just, I mean, her, the reputation is that they are so smooth and creamy, they're unbelievably pigmented, one swipe and you're done. That's just the fact of the matter. Some of the shadows in this Morphe 350 palette do the trick with one swipe, but you know, consistency tends to be the issue there. Some of the matte shadows are lacking, some of the shimmery shadows are lacking, it just depends. You don't have the same consistency as you do with the Kat Von D palettes. Oh, and then before I forget, back to the Monarch palette, the shades that you absolutely can't get from this are the cooler tones here like let me get the exact names here for you the one in the middle telepathy and Delaney so basically these two shimmery metallic silvers really can't be duplicated from the 350 but the rest of them pretty much can except obviously the deep matte black but um, for the most part I was just so surprised to see that of all the palettes out there these were the ones that most closely matched it uh, and and this is a $23 palette that 350 is, and each of these Kat Von D palettes retails for $46 a piece. So as long as you are aware of the quality difference and the fact that you might have to mix and match your shadows to get exact shade, shade dupes, I think the overall look and feel of the 350 palette really closely matches those of the other two Kat Von D palettes that I've just mentioned here. So there you have it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. It kind of didn't really fit the dupe or dud format, but I really just wanted to talk about the similarities between the two palettes because even though they aren't exact dupes, like I said, quality is different. They're missing some pretty distinctively unique shadows to both the Shade and Light and Monarch palette. The overall look and feel is very, very close. I would argue that you can get a lot of very, very similar looking shadow looks using both of these palettes. And overall, I just think that the 350 is very, very worth it in my book. And so in the event that you have one or neither of those Kat Von D palettes that I just mentioned, I would consider looking into this because it's just so similar in look and feel. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.